What's up guys? It's Kiki aka Grudge Next Door and we got a present for you guys. So 2013 we'll say BMW 335i today. Let's go! So, like I said, as mentioned before, and as what the title says, we are reviewing a 535i BMW 2013. I can tell you right now, the drive is very different from what I'm used to driving. <laughs> we're gonna do this real quick. It's getting dark out. It's winter time right now, so we were gonna review the CLS 500, but unfortunately, that got sold. I thought the 3 Series was dope, but the 5 is like it's crazy. It's next to the 7 Series, so I'm gonna give you guys the look of the interior and um, we'll go from there and just show you what it looks like inside. First, we're gonna take a look in the back seat, show you how much legroom we got. I'm about 5'10 or 5'11 and a half. So this is all the leg room I got right here. It's not too bad. This is the back seat right here. Like to me, it, like it reminds me of like a like a seven series kind of feel, right? In the interior is like it's pretty dope as well. Like uh, I think this is it's some kind of brown color. I'm not sure like what it's exactly called. I've been up the BMW game for a while, so I'm a little like a little rusty on this right here. So that's the front console right there. We got the paddle ships here. Like we, this is crazy. Like. For a luxury sedan like this, you would never think that, you know, you would have like paddle ships in like a uh, mid-sized luxury sedan. We're going to take for a little test drive, show you guys how it goes. Um, let's see how, what we got on the dash. So 260 on the dash right there. So there you go right there. If you guys looking for this, I think this is a, you know, a good car for someone that's like probably just getting out of school. You want to reward yourself kind of thing like that. Um, you know, it's not bad for the year, 13. Some people classify it as a 13 old, but to some people, like, that's brand new. Like, you know what I mean? Like, as I said, like, in the previous video, the camera doesn't really do justice, but, like, it's, it's super clean in this, man. Like, I'm really a fan of this. It makes me miss BMW a lot, man. Like, because I had I had a 3 Series before. I had the, the E36 for you guys that knew me from um, before and everything like that. But, like, this is crazy. <laughs> But you got the 3D effects on there on the Navi. So we got the iDrive right here. So that's controlling like everything you see on the screen right here. So like everything you want to control here is right down here with this button. I think it's pretty cool because it's pretty convenient. Like if the you know if you're driving and the passenger like wants to put on the map or anything like that, then they can switch it while you're like you got your eyes on the road. So ambient lighting down here. So if I touch this button right here, down here, so you see that dark and this comes right back up so that's a cool feature too yeah the sunroof's pretty big um yeah we bring that back right there like look at that let's see if it goes all the way back yeah and it does that's crazy so i think we should keep that open i don't know um just to see the sky i like sunroofs with skies and everything like that all right so we're trying to get some free road right now but we're stuck in traffic um we did this at the wrong time it's rush hour right now so we're just trying to get past this right now just to open up the throttle a little bit, but it looks like this is not happening. So with this, um, I was surprised. This caught me off guard. They had comfort mode, sport one and sport two. I didn't know that, you know, BMW carried, uh, especially in this, like in this series, carry that option. Um, we're just gonna go on the rotary right now. So I got a feature, um, especially for like things like this. I got a cool feature I want to show you guys too. So we got some free road right now. So we're gonna we're gonna just try to open this up a little bit, just a little bit, a little teaser. <laughs> this goes for an inline six, like especially for a big car like this. Like we gotta slow down right now because we're in the 50 zone. So, um, but yeah, like for a big car like this, this car goes, man. Like. <laughs> It really caught me off guard. As I was like mentioning like with the engine and everything like that, you know, big in line six. Um, right now I think we're in sport two, so I think we're in comfort. I think we uh, still stayed in comfort. We got into this like really random. We we're gonna go review another car, but unfortunately that car was gone. So, you know, we've seen this on a lot and we took advantage of it. A C-Class. <laughs> so like even like when, when you're on, like you got a blind side on the right and you got a blind side on the left, you can see what's beside you before you decide to make that turn. Um, so you got one on the right side, which is the host. On the on my left, you got the um, 
the car right there so you got the traffic like it just shows how much traffic we're in right now like we got a truck here it's at a dead stop right now so um it's pretty busy right now comfort wise it's not too bad of a ride like um honestly like the seats are comfortable like it's all leather so like you sink right in that's what i like i don't like the stiff seats of it so in this 535i it's, it's pretty you know it hugs you a little bit right so you got the um you know you got the seats and then you got the suspension suspension's pretty you know it's pretty chill though like it just drives like you're on a cloud basically so it's just how a luxury car should be yeah like i'm i'm really liking this would i get one probably yeah but like it just been so long like since i had a bmw like i'm just like oh all oh, amg mercedes da, 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 da. if you're in the market for this i would definitely like recommend you know to get this this is absolutely like it's pretty it's pretty cool i forgot to mention earlier this does have a push start so all you really need is this as for features there's too many <laughs> so um i'm just kidding so like what we got right now um it's showing like the battery life here the efficient dynamics um it's on the dash you guys can't really see it on your end but um it shows it displays it in the dash which i think is pretty cool just a little comparison like stepping from like the e39 into this new generation of the uh, 5 series so it's not you know it's not very different like it still shows that rich history of bmw from the layout on the dash to the cluster the cluster will always stay the same like in my opinion so um i think that was like a pretty cool thing like which they really kept like throughout like the next generations like moving forward um as for like you know you got your memory seats uh which is pretty cool as you can see just a side note we're still moving slow the traffic is crazy like we're trying to get on the highway right now so as you can see like right right ahead of us like like there's so many features like i really wish we could have went over the car like a little bit more um trunk space is pretty crazy so i'll show you guys like we'll probably put like a piece of luggage like a camera bag or something in there just to show you guys another day in paradise what you guys do now but yeah you got led lights all around you got the headlights leds turn signals leds um the tail light now, the ambient lighting is pretty cool as you can see right up here like you know we got the um the reading lights we got the big light we're not going to turn that on right now but yeah we got the auto dimming um mirrors which is the same as in our uh w202 so we're going to pick up some speed right now we're about to get into the next lane <clears throat> We're just doing regular driving right now. It's too many cars. What I did notice, we got ambient lighting in this. So I didn't even know they had ambient lighting in. I thought it was only a Mercedes thing and like it's a GM thing, but like you got it in the back too. Um, I think it's like it really suits the mood. I don't know if you can change the color in this, but the BMW is just the BMW orange amber color that they always strive to have like throughout the years with their cars. So right now we got it in paddle shift right now. So we're just gonna we're just going through the gears right now. I think I'm right in second. Nope, I'm gonna go in fourth right now. So you guys probably can't really see it on your end, but you know the throttle response is pretty. You know, it's it's pretty impressive to me. As for like turning and everything like that, what I did notice when I was like merging onto like a regular street, um, like off camera, we uh, like the steering was kind of heavy. So like I I find that's that's pretty cool. Like a cool feature too. Like it just gives you that just that hug feel you know what i mean so and when it was in comfort it was just like oh just like butter basically um so we're just doing a little bit of still city driving still shifts on its own if you wanted to down below here we got the um the manual shifting so you can still take advantage of that as well but i'm really digging these these paddle shifts man like honestly <laughs> it's like every button you touch is just like it's just so sticky like you just touch one button and it just stays on i know i don't know the car really that much yet but like those are one of the things i don't really like about it it's like especially like every new car like you touch one button it stays on and then like you try to take it off then it goes to like the next thing on the side of the car so it's like what's going on <laughs> in the near future what do you guys want like what what kind of cars you guys want um uh, want us to review i'm really focused on the zero cars i wanted to review like an amg i think it was today i know someone that might want to um get a lexus on the channel and everything like that so just like give me some ideas what you guys want to see but yeah guys there you have it like i really appreciate you guys for watching this um if you guys want to see any more of this in the near future let me know uh be sure to like share and subscribe it really helps the channel so um everyone that knows me you know like look at this guy here i think he got an exhaust leak <laughs> <laughs> but yeah 
but yeah like let me know what you guys like you know like like comment share make sure you share it to your friends everything like that if you're looking like if you if you're looking or you got a friend that's looking into a 535i uh between the 2013 and 16 uh bracket of the model year like share this video in my opinion this car is pretty cool um but yeah thank you very much guys um i'll see you guys in the next video and uh yeah be easy ha!